Hello everyone, welcome to Math Talk. I'm your host, Brian Eisler, and today we're going to look at how to solve word problems using equations. So I have a word problem up here, and before I get into it, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks that I use when I see word problems. First of all, obviously, I want to read the word problem. I want to figure out what, are they, what pieces of information do they give me, which parts of it are actually useful, and which parts of it can I really ignore. Because there really are parts of word problems that don't really have anything to do with solving it. So I want to avoid using those and only find out what is really helpful. So I have this word problem that says, Leah earned X dollars at her job on Saturday. Her friend earned $15 more than twice what Leah made. Together, they earned $180. How much did Leah earn on Saturday? So there's a lot of information that's here. There's some numbers, there's a variable, there's you know, phrases that can be turned into operations, and there's phrases that talk about you know, the total amount. So I need to figure out how to write all this in an equation so I can solve it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see, choose a color here. Let's choose black, that's fine. And I'm gonna start writing out the equation that I have. So Let's see, Leah earned X dollars, so I'm gonna have X dollars at her job on Saturday. Her friend earned $15 more than twice what Leah made. So 15 more than Leah, or 15 more than twice Leah, is 15 plus 2X. Because more than means plus, and twice means two times. And then together, they earned $180. So together means I need to add them together and it all totals up to 180, okay? So now I have this equation that I could solve. And so I know that I have um, a multi-step equation, and I did a video on this before, so if you wanna check that out, that'd be great, show you some steps and tricks on how to figure, solve these. I need to get my x's on one side and my numbers on the other. So I'm gonna subtract 15 here, and subtract 15 here, so I can get my numbers together and my x's together. So I have x, I have plus 2x, and I have 180 minus 15, which is 165. Now x plus 2x is going to be 3x equals 165. And then my last step is I'm going to have to divide by 3, because I have x times 3. So to solve it, I divide by 3. Divide by 3. And then I get my final answer. I'm going to write over here is x equals 55. So x equals 55 is my solution because they're asking how much did Leah earn? And Leah earned x dollars, so x equals 55. So let's look at one more example. Again, I have a word problem. I need to figure out what's important, what's not important, and how do I set up my equation. So two adults and three children pay $40 to see a movie. The price for the children's tickets are $5 less than the price for adult tickets. What is the price of a movie ticket for an adult? All right, so let's see if we can piece together this equation and um, write it out and solve it. So let's see, two adults, which I'm gonna call 2A, A for adults, you can use whatever letter you want, and three children, plus three children, pay $40, okay? to see a movie. The price for a children's ticket are $5 less than the price for an adult ticket. So I'm gonna say C equals $5 less than an adult, which means that's an adult price minus $5. What is the price of a movie for an adult? So they're asking for the price for an adult, which means my equation needs to only have the variable for an adult, or A. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna take the price of a ticket for children, which is C, and I'm gonna take and replace it with the equivalent value of the ticket, the price. What that means is I'm gonna take A minus five and plug it in or substitute it for C. And I'm gonna write a whole new equation. So let's do it up on the top right. 2A plus three times A minus five is gonna equal 40. Okay, now I have a multi-step equation which involves the distributive property and I can start solving that. I'm gonna take the three and multiply it by each value inside parentheses because that's how distributive property works. So I have 2a plus 3a 
minus 15 equals 40. Remember, 3 times a negative 5 is a negative 15, which basically turns into a minus sign. Okay. Now I'm going to bring my minus 15 over to the right because I want to get my numbers on one side and my variables on the other. And I'm going to start simplifying this a little more. 2a plus 3a equals, uh, let's see, 55. Okay. And then I'm going to take my 2a plus 3a and that's going to get me 5a equals 55. Now I can solve this using one more step. I'm going to divide by 5 and I'm going to get a equals 11. What that means is the price for an adult is going to be $11 because a represents the value of a ticket for an adult. So I hope this helps when you get to word problems. Remember, read the problem, figure out all the useful information, all the numbers, all the phrases, all the, the totals, things like that. Put it together to develop your equation and then start solving from there. Thanks. If you have any other questions or you need assistance and you live in the Palm Beach County area, visit our website at GEDS.com to find a location near you and sign up for classes.